hello guys happy sunday welcome to my kitchen again i prepared this rice with palm fruits so this is my palm fruits i bought them in the market i'm going to cook them wash and cook okay when your palm fruit is ready when you put fork inside your palm fruit you know it is ready as a cookie bongo i decided to do this one today different from the a normal fried rice or jello fries i said let me do this one today so i'm pounding the palm fruits and you know um you can actually use your blender to do this yeah but if you don't know how to do it you spoil your blender so me i always like to use the normal local way so in here i have a vonko i don't know what they call it in english but that is the chaff the have a vonko. that is where the oil is so i pound and then i removed the seed then i washed that chaff that avovonko to bring out all the palm fruit extracts that's oil and everything inside it so i'm going to sieve it out and make sure that there is nothing again you see now there's no oil again in here so i'm going to throw it away so this is um the palm oil extract i've sieved everything out the quantity i want because that's what i'm going to use to cook my rice prior to this time i've washed my rice in hot water i did not cook it first you know you can actually cook it first it, it depends but cooking it first because you still need your red oil extract it's not just the normal jello rice you understand so this water now is going to cook your rice so that everything will enter inside your rice your rice so menina every nutrient in this palm oil extract so i went in and added uh, my onion my red onion into the palm oil extract because um i've allowed it to cook it's been boiling now for like seven minutes yes so seven minutes it's been boiling i've added my onion i'll go ahead and season this is ginger and garlic paste you know ginger and garlic is very very good for our normal you know health okay so whatever i cook i always like to add it this is my pepper mix red and yellow scotch bonnet well, what I know is the red one, they call it scotch bonnet. The yellow one, I don't know the name, but what I know is on a fofo, you know, those in a fofo very, very well. So I've added it in. This is no chicken. I put in two cubes of no chicken. I'll go ahead and add, um, that's onion powder. I'll go ahead and add um, adobo or purple seasoning. Then I'll put a little salt. Remember that the um, palm fruit extract is always sweet so you don't need to over season it just season and then you taste to know if it's um, good and uh, my rice because i didn't cook it I, there is no salt in my rice so my rice is plain so i'm going to go ahead after testing i'll put crayfish this is crayfish i'll turn and then i'll put in my washed rice so when i pour in this rice now i'll have to turn everything together and remember, you know this is palm oil extract. If you don't come in from time to time to check if the under of your pot is burning, it might burn. So don't give it that um, time to burn, okay? You can come in from time to time and um, check the under of the pot if it is burning or if you still add more water or whatever to check your rice if it's, if it's uh, cooking or, or, or if, it's, if it still needs water, if it's still hard so i'm making sure my pot is not burning you see that the water is going down so i'll go in and add in my proteins small small um, snail kanda and um, beef um, kanda or komo whatever they call it and beef inside it those are my proteins and then i have um croaker um smoked fish that i have i've washed it uh, it's very very clean i've deboned it I'll go ahead and add everything now because the rice is ready. It's just for the mimi to tala. You to go? <laughs> so, as you're waiting for the mimi to tala, you know, you have to reduce your oko. You have to reduce the your your heat to low heat so that your rice will not burn. Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and mix all this so that the fish will get soft a little. It's, 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 it's not the normal, like, soft fish you know and it doesn't worry a lot it's, it's hard it's, it's good so as i'm turning it now making sure that 
everything is incorporated into that rice. I've covered it. I'll allow it to boil, to boil for like um, five minutes. You see, Miria Tachala. I'll go ahead and add in my scent leaf. You can use pumpkin leaf. You can use spinach. You can use curry leaf. Any leaf you have at your disposal. This is scent leaf. So that's what I use. And allow it to boil for like two minutes. Your food is ready. You see, you don't overcook it. Just you see how. One one one, the rice is. It did not look rather on it. Is one one one, and it's looking nice, and it tasted very very beautiful. You will see how I plated it. You know, I'm a mini yanga now. As only she rice so far. Hey, okay. Oh, who wants to eat with me? Bon appetit. <laughs>